Hey Photoshop fans, I'm Justin Z, and here's another important video about the tools and techniques of masking. So now that we have our mask set up and ready to use, we can start creating the mask shape. Let's first make sure a few settings are ready. The first thing you want to do is make sure that Paths is selected at the top options panel. That's this one right here. You also want to make sure that the Add to Path area is selected, which is right here. If you do any of these other ones, you're going to have different effects, and the first one we want to have is this one. So, we're going to go to our Shape tool on our toolbar. We're going to select the Rectangle tool, and we're going to create our first shape. We're going to start with a cylinder of the body right here. So click and drag down like this, and it seems pretty good, but if it's not exactly where you want it to be, hold down the spacebar key, and you can actually move it around without changing the selection itself. Get as exact as we possibly can. Let go of the spacebar and let go of the mouse. Okay, so we have that there, but it's going to be a little difficult to mask the rest of the bottle if we can't see what we're doing. So we want to actually change the opacity or density of the white layer, and that's pretty easy to do. So the best thing to do is go to Window and click on Masks and you'll get a little tab over here and you can change your density since this image is kind of light in nature I'm going to change it to about 20 percent and that's pretty good you see where your shapes are and you see where the original image is so now we're going to make another mask around the neck of the bottle so we'll start from the bottom and we'll go up like this up until the end and it's not going to be perfect since the bottle has a slight curve to it but we'll get as close as we can up until the point of where it's just curving a little bit and let go. So let's say you wanted to transform one of your path selections. Again, even though you've already let go of the mouse, what you can do is press A, that's your direct selection tool, click on the path, then you can go up to edit and click free transform path and you can change it however you like. Also press command T to do the same thing. That's the keyboard shortcut and you can move it around to wherever you like and press enter when you're done. Okay, so we've got the straight parts of the bottle covered. Now we want to try and get the curved parts of the bottle covered. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to go to the shape options and click on ellipse tool. Also notice if you're already on the shape tools, all your shapes are right up here as well as your pen tools. So ellipse tools right here. We're going to do our best to create a circle that's going to fit it. Now obviously that's not what I want at all. So once again, press A, click on the shape, then press Command or Control T, move it over generally to where it ought to be, and transform it until you get what you want. So that's pretty close, we'll take that. Okay, now let's do that again, only with the bottom curve of the bottle. We'll go to our tools, rectangle tool. The short key for this, by the way, is U. And we will do our best to create as close as we can. Obviously, that's not where I want it to be. So, you press A, select it, Command T, and move it up to as close as we can get it. Make changes to however it will help. And it's not entirely perfect, but it's as close as we can get, and this is mainly an example. Now, one thing you want to notice is that all these shapes you're making are part of one mask. Everything you're creating is all part of the same thing. They're not separate, so when you're done, they'll all be one thing. So now that we've done that, we've got the basic shapes covered, but there's definitely some areas that we need to cover that can't be used with the shape tools, or can we? They definitely can, but I'm gonna show that in another video, and basically what it involves is using the same tools to subtract space from the mask, and we're gonna go over that in the next video.